Hi all, it's been quite a while since I've posted. Um, believe it or not, I have done several videos, I just never got around to posting them. So hopefully this one will be different. Uh, right, so, oh, I'm getting a bit warm now, that's my new jacket. Um, basically I'm on top of the allotment now. Um, everything's growing now. I cut back my strawberries right back to the roots, to the crown and uh, as you'll see in a little while they are pushed out they're just like they are in the spring when you get nice new plants uh, i've got loads of runners come out uh, i wasn't going to keep any but i'm thinking i might uh, i might keep one or two um, we had a cracking year strawberries 120 pound um, done well with my raspberries considering they're new ones Loganberry has been terrific. We've had half a punnet to a punnet every um, every day, really, for about two or three weeks. Um, it's all been cut back now, uh, ready for next year. Um, got my blackberries, um, should be out in the next week. Uh, they're looking quite good. They look, they're getting nice, big size. Um, polytunnels are empty, more or less. Uh, just a couple of uh, cucumbers in the, well, a couple in both polytunnels, and that's it. It's more or less finished. Um, I've got, believe it or not, I cut all my strawberries back, and there's nine plants which are now are in flower. Um, so if we don't get any frost in the next uh, few weeks, I'll have strawberries next month. Um, should think about three weeks' time. Um, Runner beans, French beans, climbing kind of French beans. We've had more than what we could cope with. Um, we've supplied, we've, we've got our freezer full. Um, not just with those, but you know, we've got a good few bags. More than enough for the winter. Um, and we've supplied the neighbours. Um, black currants, red currants, new bushes, only a couple of years old. Uh, really only last year that they've actually grown um, and we've, we've uh, actually froze some of those as well so that's not good. and we've made some jam I'm talking about jam we've made about 25 jars this year um, what else rhubarb plants have really shot up um, people keep saying oh it's useless growing from seed well I'm telling you you must have been doing something wrong because my plants I've got 25 plants here in the ground um, which are doing really well and we've actually been eating rhubarb we've had sticks nearly an inch and a half thick it's 38 millimeter um, I've still got um, just down over here a rhubarb in plant pots from last year um, and that's got a dozen different stems coming out of it I mean they could they really need to be put into the ground, but I've got no space. Um, I've actually put in another five raised beds here ready for the spring. I haven't put soil in yet. Um, just, you've just got me all my strawberry plants in pots in there at the minute sheltering. Uh, but come the spring I'll fill those up with soil and we'll be growing a few more veg. Um, there'll be things what we things like carrots, um, Mum likes a kohlrabi, so we'll be having a few more of those. Um, maybe more beetroot. Um, we'll see. There'll be different things that will grow. Probably we might even have potatoes in them and um, courgettes. Um, courgettes weren't very good in pots this year. Um, we had most of them were at home, but I had a few here. We, we may have had. I don't know, maybe 15 courgettes or something, but considering the amount of plants and that's this, and what we had last year in the ground here, in some very rough ground, very hard ground, and they were a great success last year, but we've not matched it this year, so uh, I will not be growing them in pots next year. Um, 
it's been hard the last couple of months since the shed got broken into. Um, I've been struggling. I've really been. I've been getting down in the dumps and because I've been struggling to get work. Um, you know, anyone who wants a bit of web design, just basic stuff I do, uh, then give me a bell. Um, so yeah, it's, I, I've not felt myself. I've been down in the dumps and uh, it's just really, it's not me back. Um, but I'm trying to get on top of it, but uh, it's that time of year. I always, when it comes towards my birthday, I always get depressed. You know, I always see a birthday as a time when I dwell back on the last 12 months and I keep, every year it's the same, not really achieve anything. You know, I'm, a job, I'm not getting the work coming in, so I feel a bit of a failure there. Okay, I've learnt quite a lot on the allotment, especially this year about veggie nuts. Never did really grow any before. Um, so, yeah, I suppose on the allotment side I should be happy. Uh, maybe it's just because I've, I started early and I've finished early. Most of my crops now are all finished. The only thing I've got left is a few runner beans um, on some of the plants what I planted late and otherwise, and a few blackberries and that's it. It's all clear, it's all ready for next year, so it's, I've got no project on the go at the minute and I'm, I miss projects. You know, I like to keep busy, I like to feel good in myself. Um, I think I'm going to grow more flowers next year. I've had quite a few around this sit-down area here and there's still quite a lot of pansies and that coming out now. And zinnias, love zinnias. First year I've grown them, next year it's going to be a lot more zinnias. Um, I think I'm going to grow a lot more plants. I'm going to have one of these raised beds just for um, flowers I think. I might, even, I might even add a few more raised beds in. I'll have to see. Um, anyway, so let's go and have a little, t little wander around the allotment. So here we have it. Some of the flowers, what I've got out. Beautiful, aren't they? Let's look at that. The pansies. I've grown loads of those. I've got loads at home. Too many for what we need. Um, so it's going. The cosmos have been nice. They're going over now. Um, gladioli. Just look at those. Absolutely fantastic. Just a few cos. Well, I think we've got some. Yeah, we've got some more cosmos going to be coming out. I mean, they could carry on until November, so you know, still plenty of time for those. The sweet peas have been lovely. Um, got loads of pods that I've put away for next year, so that's something else I'm going to grow. Just look at those flowers. Can you see that? Just look at that. I think that deserves a photo. Yeah, that's the beauty of this camcorder. I can take photos while I'm recording. I'm going to take another one of that because I make nice paintings. I can even actually go right in. Another one. Sorry about this for lingering around. It won't be long. There we are. All right, let's come back out. So let's. Uh, Take you around the plot. So these are where the raised beds are going to be positioned and these are all my strawberries, my runners from this year, what I planted on earlier on. Oh, sorry, I've just tripped over an empty bucket. Well, not a bucket, a pot. Uh, and a lot of these are the ones from inside the polytunnel. You can see we've actually got some flowers on uh, a couple of plants in there as well. If you look down here, you can see loads of flowers coming. 
got some over here. We've got some strawberries, some new strawberries here. Oh, there we are. More plants. There's, there's more down here. So there we are. So that's the. That's it. I have to say that this is all being cut back. Everything been cut back, and it's. Uh, you can see, let's zoom in, you can see we've got loads of runners coming out. Shame I don't really know anyone else, I could have sold some. But not much good that way. There's my late uh, runner beans. We have had loads. You can see the polytunnel is now empty apart from this cucumber in here. Um, we've got a Got some strawberries on here. You see all those. Now, this is something what I recommend. This is a, a temptation. I actually, there's three plants what I've been putting here. So this is what I recommend. Get a, get a, a large um, pot, ten liter, five ten liter, and um, use. If I remember right, I used a lot of manure in this. You know what you buy in the bags. And um, and this will you'll get strawberries on this plant all season long. You can see there's a fair few coming. So it's loaded. So that's the way to go. Now just look at that rhubarb. Uh, give, I don't know, I can't really give you an idea of the height, but um, the shoots are about two and a half feet long, some of them. Um, I mean, the leaf growth's about, it's over waist height on all the way along here. And these were my original ones over here. In fact, I have been picking uh, rhubarb, I'm going to pick some more. The raspberries have all been cut back, ready for next year. I've got look at the rhubarb here, and over there, and over here. <laughs> it's everywhere. Um, and I've got planted leeks in here. As you can see, the leeks are growing really nice over here. I mean, some morning there, Brian. And the fruit trees are doing really well. Curly kale, had lots off there. Um, look at this, more beans on here. I put these beans to grow up this. Uh, um, pear tree because I thought it died off but as you can see it's now uh, rooted so it's fine Oop. Sorry about that. it's a bit difficult to do but uh, it's amazing you just put some beans in any I mean that's what pot it that's a five litre bucket full of beans from today and uh, looking at it I can see I've missed a few so let's just come through See, I've got a couple here. You can see. Take those as well. This over here is Swedes. Um, I don't know whether these are going to be successful or not, but we'll see. We'll see. And all these are leeks. And they're leeks as well. In here, there were it was runner beans, but we've taken those up. Just add those down there, and um, we've got also got some Swedes in here. As you can see, the, uh, the Logan Berry has been cut right back now. What these are all the new shoots um, for next year. Um, so we'll just have to see. They'll still carry on growing a bit more. Uh, I've just basically took them around the. Uh, Fire. 
So that's that's the quick update from the allotment. Thanks for watching.